a virus shrouded in mystery taking away numerous lives every day. What is it all about? Since today's topic is epidemiology, let me reveal a part of this mystery. So what is epidemiology? Epidemiology is simply the study of a health-related incident, its distribution, and to apply the study in the control of the health problem. And I'm going to explain the epidemiology of COVID-19 using the five W's. So where and when did it all start? The virus got the attention of the world when China declared in early January the spread of an unknown type of pneumonia in the city of Wuhan, which was later discovered to be caused by the novel coronavirus. So how does COVID-19 spread? We can divide the process into two parts. First, transmission. Second, infection. Let's look into transmission closely. This infected person coughs, touches the door handles and moves on. After a while, a healthy but unaware one enters, breathes in droplets and touches the infected surface. Similar contacts lead to the virus transmission. Now, let's go 11 days ahead to trace the virus. She has started developing symptoms. But why? Let's check. She did wash but not for 20 seconds. Remember, it takes at least 20 seconds for the soap to pry open COVID particles and render them powerless. The 11 days that we went ahead is the incubation period, also referred to as the development period of the virus and can be divided into entry, budding and shedding. The SARS-CoV-2 enters the cell through endocytosis. Once inside, the virus uses the proteases to open the viral capsid and release the RNA. We can also conclude that the prevention of the endocytic viral entry may be a promising strategy to treat the virus. The RNA multiplies using the mechanism of the host cell. Borrow cell membrane from host cell to create own viral envelope. This is budding. Budding does not immediately destroy the host cell but will slowly use up the cell membrane. But this isn't it. Once replication has been completed and the host cell is exhausted of all its resources, the virus begins to leave the cell by several methods and this is called as viral shedding. Viral shedding may take place from a single cell, from one part of the body into another, from bodies into the environment. There are two more terms that we need to look into, that is infectious dose and viral load. The average number of particles needed to establish the infection is called infectious dose. Since COVID is fast spreading, its infectious dose may be relatively low. Viral load is the quantity of virus in a given volume of a body fluid. High viral load close to symptom onset suggests that COVID-19 can be easily transmissible at an early stage of infection. When it comes to immunity, it was found that the immune system of people who have recovered produce special antibodies which neutralize the virus and was later found in the blood plasma. I wonder what 2020 is gonna bring up next? A cure? A vaccine? Or another mystery? Till then, 